Hey guys, and welcome back for another video. In this one, I wanna take a look at the brand new GitHub pull request extension for Visual Studio Code. All right, so I assume a lot of you guys already know, and if not, I'll go ahead and inform you that Microsoft bought GitHub back in uh, a few months ago, I guess in June or July of 2018. And a lot of people had a lot of uh, questions and, and concerns about what that really meant for GitHub going forward. Some people were iffy about a big company like Microsoft buying something like GitHub that's really the epitome of what open source is. Uh, so some people had concerns, I think for me, uh, kind of really understanding where Microsoft is and, and where they're going and how they've pivoted. There's not really a concern there. Microsoft is super involved in open source. They're super, uh, super driven by the community, super involved in the community. And I think one of the one of the answers to the question of what this looks like for GitHub going forward has been answered, and that just means that there's more tight integration between GitHub and Microsoft products, which is not a bad thing. This is a great thing. And so this GitHub pull request extension is brand new. It just got announced a few weeks ago. And what this allows you to do is manage your pull requests from a GitHub repository inside of Visual Studio Code so that you don't even have to leave your editor to handle these requests. So what I've got set up is on one account, on my real GitHub account, I've got a GitHub pull test that I've got just a basic readme here and we're just gonna work with just a readme file as the repository and make a change uh, with another uh, user account outside of this one. So this is where the project is now, this GitHub pull test. If I look at my other tab, uh, this is another account that I have, that I have a forked version of that GitHub pull test that uh, originally in a blog post I used to make some changes and show off this extension. So now we're gonna do this in video as well. So with this, and I'm gonna call this the secondary account and this one the primary account. The primary account is the guy who created this project first. The secondary account right here is the one who is making and issuing the pull request. So just to generate a pull request here, I'm going to uh, come in, let's say I want a space here because technically you should have one uh, based on some linting stuff that I've got set up in VS Code. And then also, uh, let's say I want to uh, just tie in this link here, right here. So instead of spelling out GitHub pull request extension and then adding the link, I'll just add it all in line. So because I'm doing this in GitHub, I'm just going to say updated read me and then uh, say connected link to existing text and added necessary blank line. Doesn't really matter what it is. I'm going to commit this directly to my master branch. So in this forked version of this project, I've got an update here. So what I can do if I come back uh, here and grab the URL of the primary accounts project and hopefully this isn't getting confusing for you guys and I navigate to that there I can go to the pull request tab I can say new pull request I want to compare across forks because I want to compare the secondary fork with the original master branch so I'll compare across forks so this is pulling in here's the uh, here's the base fork and here is the one that I'm trying to compare. So uh, it says able to be, be merged, that's fine. Notice these are two user accounts, James Q Quick, that's my real GitHub, JQ Quick 223 is just a secondary account that I created for this purpose. And I come down and I can see here's the diff and I just wanna go ahead and create this pull request. Uh, the comments here are fine, so I'll just go ahead and say create that pull request. So this pull request has been created for this project. If I come into Visual Studio Code, we'll now take a look Sorry about that. We'll now take a look at uh, what we've got with this extension. So I've got this project pulled locally here. Uh, and it's, uh, again, this is from the primary account, so it doesn't yet have that change that we just committed. And inside of extensions, I've got the GitHub pull request extension installed. And it's telling me that I need to log in. So you guys will need to do this as well. If you don't get a uh, pop-up for logging in, you can uh, open your command palette with Command Shift P and go to your command or GitHub pull request sign into GitHub. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. This should pop up a window. I will say, yeah, go ahead and do this because I've already done it. You will actually have to introduce your credentials. And so back in VS Code, I should now be logged in, as you can tell down here. 
And what you're gonna see when you go to your source control pane over on the left, you see your regular uh, Git stuff that you guys uh, have probably used before if you're checking out this video. So this is your regular see what files have changed, do pull, stuff like that. If I minimize this and open up the GitHub pull requests, I can look at all the pull requests and uh, do a refresh here and this should pull down all the open pull requests that are on this project, which is only one, which is the one that I just created. And if I expand this, I can pull open the details of this and it says here, uh, it shows me the commit, shows me who requested it. So jqquick223 uh, added this pull request, shows the commit here. If I look at the file that's changed, it'll give me a diff so I can see what has changed here. I could go ahead and review that way. I could also come in and this is actually pretty cool. I could check out the branch that wants to be merged, the pull request branch, I could check it out. And then inside of my local uh, file, if I open the local file, it's actually gonna have the changes that, uh, that are trying to come in. So this allows me to check out that code right here without having to really go through and do any commands. I just click that button and there it is. So one of the things, let's say I might wanna come in here and say, hey, uh, I wanna remove these two lines because we don't need these two blank lines. And so I might uh, come into my pull request uh, in the, the, the extension, exit review mode. So that'll take me back to my regular regular code. You can see it's changed here to what it, what it is in the primary account. Sorry about that guys, I need to turn my phone off. Let's see, this is the file as it is before the pull request. So now in the pull request I might say, hey, can you remove those empty lines? And so I'll, I'll go ahead and comment here. And if I open up the um, my account, this is jqquick223, so this is a secondary account. Under pull requests, it sent me a notification saying, uh, hey, can you remove those empty lines? So you can see that those commands, uh, the comments work. I'll come back to the code. I will, uh, let's see, oh, actually I wanna go to my version of the code. So let me go to my profile and open up that repository and edit that file and I'll just take away one, two, I think that's, yep. So I'll take away those two empty lines. I'll say removed empty lines. And I can uh, put that in the details as well. I will commit that. Now I can uh, come in and view the pull request here that's open. So I've got one pull request here. This is in the primary account. If I go in and view that pull request, uh, I can see I've got the comment here. So here's that comment. And I can also see that there's been two commits. So now I can see in the pull request in GitHub that there's been a new commit. I can also come into VS Code now and I could do a refresh, pull open source control. So I'll do a refresh here. All right, so uh, after refreshing this and pulling open the description again, notice here I've got um, I've got the comment from the other user saying that he did in fact remove those lines. I could check out again uh, with checking out. That'll allow me to view those files locally so I could open this up and say, hey, that actually looks good because there's no extra spaces there. That's perfect. Uh, so I can close out the exit review mode. Again, in the extension tab here, it'll show me what files have changed. So I could do a diff this way. Uh, it says, yeah, that actually, that's exactly what I'm looking for. That sounds good. I can close that readme. I can then say everything looks good, approving now. So I will leave that comment so that everything looks good. And then I can click the approve button and this will say everything has been approved. If I come back to GitHub on either one of these actually. Uh, so actually let me go to the primary account, open up that uh, pull request and refresh. And we should see under the status of this that the changes have been approved. So everything that we did in the extension of pulling the pull request or uh, loading the pull request, pulling the pull request, refreshing the pull request, leaving comments, um, and being able to fresh when, re refresh when people say they've made com or made changes uh, based on the things that we requested. We can also uh, view diffs. We can go in and check out their code and view it right there, which is pretty easy, super cool. And then uh, I can actually go ahead and approve the uh, pull request. And then I can go ahead and merge that pull request as well. 
and I'll just say update the readme part two because I did this before for a blog post and do a confirm merge. And now everything is merged and just one last piece to confirm this. In my regular source control, I can come in and do a, and actually let's show the readme file first. So here's my readme, this is what it looks like. And uh, just to show you guys that that merge actually took place, I can do a pull and we should see now this has been updated with the, uh, with the latest code here. So super cool stuff. Again, I'm excited about the Microsoft and GitHub uh, relationship now. I'm excited for all the integration. I'm excited for all the features that are come that are going to come to VS Code on top of the already pretty good stuff that they've got built in. So exciting stuff. So you guys should definitely check out the extension. Go ahead and install it. You'll log in. You'll uh, create a pull request if you don't have existing pull requests, if you're just kind of testing it out. You'll view them, you can improve them, you can review them, whatever you want to do all inside the extension in Visual Studio Code. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and you can check out my newsletter on learnbuildteach.com to get updates on the latest content as it comes out. Thanks for watching.